of a large incision, doctors make small band-aid sized openings for the robot's arms to enter. The surgeon uses the robot's tiny mechanical hands to tie patient's esophagus, sewing the repairs in place. And that's a robot. So now we can rotate, articulate, move all the way around as if we had put our hand inside the abdomen. The hole that went inside the patient is a little tiny hole about the size Own of a the Center for Advanced Surgical and Interventional Technology. Well, the goal is, is to determine what the state of the art is. Training today. doctors and designing new technology for robotic heart and brain surgeries and operations on patients hundreds of miles away. He's up. Weight is another big challenge in making a prosthetic practical. The Luke arm also had to be agile enough to do exactly what the human arm can do. Um, so far, the test plans. the arm such that they can you know, pick up small objects or stack them up. The beauty of Viper is that no matter how much slippage, if it was thick carpeting or Ivo made it very shortly, Ivo would be able to uh, adjust and correct itself. So right now it's getting in rough position where it thinks it'll be in front. And then once it's there, it's going to take a couple steps back. And 